Hello everyone, RPG Kingdom Kid here, back with some more Danganronpa V3. What the hell? Oh. Um, in the previous video, um, we finished up Chapter 5, and now as you see, we are in Chapter 2. Uh, the reason why we are in Chapter 2 is because I'm doing the free time events with everyone first before we go on to Chapter 6. But it shouldn't take that long, hopefully. Where the hell? Oh, there she is. I was like, so this is what we're going to do. Hopefully, maybe in this video, I can knock out these four. And I want to... Um, I want to knock out the people that I've already started off with. So, we're definitely going to knock out Angie. I would like to do uh, Kokichi, Kirio, and Kibos as well. I would like love to knock out all four of them in this video. And then maybe in the next video, try to knock out like another two or another four if I possibly can. If I can knock out four, that would be great because then I'd only have uh, three left. But we'll see. So, yeah. So, I'm in Chapter 2, obviously, because that's where... Everyone besides Kaede and uh, fuck it, Rantaro are alive, but I can't really do anything else. I can't really do those two as Suichi, and I've heard that you can't re you can't advance any further than the second rank as Kaede in Chapter One. So instead of just doing that, I'm just going to do this. So Angie, max out with me, girl. Right. Right. So, I don't know, I'll probably like to, um, definitely, I should have some kind of thing that she like. Who would love this? I mean, maybe Gonta would like that, so I'll try to save those for Gonta. Um, I know I have something that she'd like. Or maybe Gonta like, might like the steel glasses case. Um... Do you like this shaved ice? Patua has spoke because. Yeah! Hey, I'm on Suichi again. Happy, happy me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, happy. I've just been pretty happy lately. I wonder why. Yoohoo! Hey, hey, Suichi. Guess what? I got the present for you today. It'll be my underwear. And she pulled out what looked like a small box covered in fabric. Come on, come on! Here, sweetie, I'm gonna have to clap, okay? Slowly, gently. I'm gonna have to clap carefully, just as she said. I saw a canvas about the size of my palm, and on that canvas. Hmm. You made this, right, Angie? What's it of? Oh, me, oh my! Oh, don't you recognize it? It's your face, silly! Huh? This is me? Not only does it not look like me, it doesn't even look human. Yep, yep, I want you to have it. Uh, okay. Ah, thank you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You don't faint when you see my pictures anymore. Yay! Yay, I'm so happy. I've gotten closer with you. Yay, look at my shit <laughs> opening up for you. Now that you mention it, that is true. Perhaps I've gotten used to it? That's not right. No, Suichi. You were chosen by Hatua. And now you're ready to be Angie's husband. Isn't that wonderful? Huh? A husband? Where is this coming from? Atua has spoken. Atua has spoken. Suichi can be with Angie forever. Okay. Hey Angie, does Atua decide everything for you? Even your own husband? Uh... Mm, well... The truth is... Maybe I want you to be my husband. Huh? What? Because I really do want to be with you forever. Does that mean I, I chose you, not the tour? Are you confessing your love? This is getting pretty heavy. I can't do this. Are you confessing uh, your love? Um... Are you confessing your love? Huh? Confession? No. Ah, uh, yeah. Because you clearly like me and all. <gasps> oh, I see, I see. Is that all? You just want to know if I like you too? Okay, I do. There, it's decided. Wait! But choosing a husband is an important decision. You need to think about it more. 
Why? Then why did you pick me? I'm just an ordinary guy compared to you. No, no. But you're not ordinary. My first time was with you. Huh? Wait. What do you mean, first time? I... You were the first one to ever get angry at me. Since that moment, I haven't been able to stop thinking about you. Oh god, you're a masochist. I just think about you all the time. I see. I suppose Angie never got scolded before. After all, at her home island, her words were the words of a Tua. Of course, if Angie admits that, she get she got mad at me. It must mean that those are her genuine feelings, not a Tua. That's good. It's a little strange, but there's a def there is definitely a bond between us now. Uh, of course, there's still the matter of. Hey, Shuichi. Will you be my husband and stay with me forever? Sure, if you don't die. We aren't that close yet. I can't be your husband. But friendship! Artua's intuition. Somehow dodged Angie's proposal and returned to my room. <laughs> Aww. And I got her underwear! Yes! They are literally just the things that you see all the time on my body. It's not like I have anything else. I am wearing a bikini after all. And this little robe. The only reason I wear this robe is because it protects me from paint when I'm painting. All right. Um, still I have free time, I guess. All right, let's look at the, the um, that there. Um, let's look at them panties first of all. Angie's favorite bikini bottom. She's not since it's not underwear. It's totally fine if it peeks out a little. Okay. All right, let's look at Atua's intuition. Shall we? The flash, the flash spot will instantly grow to full size, effective during Handman's Gambit version three. Really fucking good. Oh, I guess she did have a skirt. Okay. I honestly don't remember what she wears. Okay, I guess the next one we will hang out with will be. Uh, let's let's hang out with Kokio. Kokiko. Kokio. I think Okichi is right there. Could wrap him up. Why are you in... Uh... Re fuck. Oh my god, what's her name? Kurumi's lab. There we go, Kurumi. Like, what was her name again? Uh, Ultimate Maid. She dies in this chapter. Spoiler alert. Listen. Do you truly wish to speak with Antaro? I shall prepare a seance at once. There are a few that would suit our needs. Which I wonder would be best. Do you have an interest in seances? Let me tell you about them then. Okay. Kyo spent some time teaching me about seances. Kyo and I grew a little closer today. Shit, I honestly don't remember what I gave him last time. Um. Oh wait, hold on, hold, hold on. Yeah, I think he likes this. Wonderful. You have practice to me. You truly have an eye for treasures. Tell me your thoughts. If you'd like, I can tell you this his item's history. Are you interested? Hello. Since you're here, you wish to learn more about anthropology, yes? Is that all right? Yes, I'd like to learn more, if that's all right with you. I am pleased. Of course. I'll speak of it of it for as long as you wish to hear of it. Perhaps we should sit somewhere for a discussion. We decided to sit in the dining hall and drink some tea while we talked. Oh, that's nice. Too bad you become a horrible murderer in the Whatever next- is the matter? You seem to be looking at me with a strange expression. Is something wrong? Uh, um... Oh, well, you're always wearing that mask, Kyo. I was just wondering how you would drink tea. 
Yes. Ah, uh, this. I take it off at times like these. So he does take it off sometimes. That makes sense, or else he couldn't eat or drink. You see. And I replace it with a mask for meals. Huh? A mask for meals? That's correct. That is correct. I have one bathing, sleeping, and even exercising. So he has a variety. Well then. If you'll excuse me. After excusing himself, Kyo Kota Kyo turned his back to me and began changing masks. He could just take it off. He doesn't have to be so... He doesn't have to have so many kinds. Why so particular about that? So then... Thank you for waiting, Suichi. Hmm. Huh? Did you change your mask? Yes. I did. This is the one for meals. It looks exactly the same. So then... So I'll proceed to enjoy this tea now. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Hmm. This tea has a nice scent. I usually prefer green tea. This is wonderful. Gorokio looked to be in a trance as he brought the cup of tea to his lips. But won't it just spill on the mask? Wonderful. Ah, a metal flavor that makes itself familiar to the tongue. Huh? The mask isn't wet? Did he pour it in the slit? I didn't see him do it. Oh. Ah, and we have cookies as well. They look delicious. Cookies? I'll definitely get to see him take off his mask to eat that. It's just like with Kakashi! I my breath and watched as Kurikyo brought the cookie to his lips. Hmm. What the? What happened? The cookie just disappeared. Oh. What is the matter? Uh, um... the, it, it, the cookie! It just disappeared! I see, yes. Well, yes. Because I put it into my mouth. It didn't look like you ate it at all. <laughs> You're wondering how I ate it, aren't you? If you are vexed by such trivial things, then your world is ve still very small. Do you understand? It will open up your world through antronology, if you so desire. I don't know about that. After sharing some tea, I return to my room. All right, I'm yeah, I'm just gonna cut out all the unnecessary things. So like, what happened between the end of Ko Kokiro's thing and up to here? But yes, we have the love key, so let's use it. Hopefully, it's someone new and someone we haven't had before. Oh God! Oh God! Every time I come here, I play the role of their ideal, like some shared fantasy. What kind of fancy would Gonta have? Something heartwarming, perhaps? Allow Gonta. Thank you for coming to see Gonta. Gonta will do best to be Suichi's companion. Huh? What? Uh, okay. Hey. Hungry? Need Gonta to carry your luggage? Gonta is plenty strong. No. I uh, know. I didn't bring anything with me. What is going on here exactly? As gentlemen. What do you mean? It's normal for gentlemen to be gentle with women. Hmm. A woman? Ah. Uh, I suppose I'm meant to play a woman. Oh, God! I know I'm supposed to be a good partner, but this is going to be difficult. Maybe... Oh, you don't like it? You're right. Going to share for Suichi into a lady role. Just for practice party. Huh? Uh, am I not supposed to be a lady? Huh? Huh? You're not a woman, are you? Sorry! Wait. Is Suichi really a woman? So sorry, Gonto should have known this sooner. No. Uh, no, 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 I'm a man. Thank goodness. Oh, okay, good. Gonto would know what to do if Gonto upsets Suichi on accident. <laughs> uh, don't worry about that. Harmless mistake. You want to practice for the part, right? Well, I'm happy to help you. Mm. Suichi is so nice. Gonto wishes he could return favor somehow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Practice on Gunta. Huh? And by practice you mean... Gunta do his best. Gunta never behaved like Lady before, but Gunta will do his best if you let him. Gunta! Ah, uh, you don't have to go that far, Gunta. No way! 
But what's Gunta supposed to do? So he should be so nice to Gunta. Wait! Gunta, it's alright, really, it's fine. Just settle That's down. Good. Hey, what should Gunta do? Gunta grabbed my shoulder. It was hard. I couldn't handle the weight, Dan. Ah, uh, uh, whoa! We fell into the bed. We fell into the bed behind us. Limbs entangled. Uh, oh God! Uh, uh, I fall on my back, and Gonto is right above me, breathing hard. I can't move. Gonto's massive body on top of mine was too intimidating. Uh, huh? Huh? Gonto's body jerked upward as he pulled by some unseen force, jumping back with my feet. Are you okay? Gunta, are you okay? Gunta, idiot! Gunta's not okay. Not okay at all. How could Gunta do no. this? Ah, Gunta, don't worry about it. You're surprising me a little, that's all. No can do that! Gunta does worry. It's unforgivable for gentlemen to mistreat lady. So I'm still playing the right lady, huh? No. No, even Suichi not lady. It's still bad. Gunta scared Suichi. Still a long way to go before going to give me gentlemen. Gonta, you noticed that I was a little scared. You might not believe Gonta, but Gonta not ever wanna hurt you. Aww. Yeah, I know. I stood and walked up to him. I could see his shoulders trembling. Hey, I'm just fine, okay? Let's keep practicing for the party. Shuichi, thank you. Gonta, be perfect companion this time. Gonta, take care of you. Thank you, Gonta. Oh, this is sweet. Despite my Gonta's impeccable manners, I re reciprocated and offered my hand. You may not look the part, but I am convinced Gonta is polite and kind. A gentleman. Um, what, what, what would gentlemen say? say? Oh. Oh god! <laughs> that might not be completely accurate. Alright, we are back at free time, so let us go find... Oh sweet, he's in the dorm here, so he's probably in his room. Let's do that. Hey, Korakio. Oh, dear. Since you've come here, my curiosity has been quite constantly stimulating. You have shown me beauty as well. Your suffering and determination have been etched into my heart. Yeah, sure, my, why not? Listen. It's gotten to the point where I have so many notes, I cannot organize them on my own. Will you assist me? I am like Orochimaru. At least that's the voice I give him. <sighs> Kyo and I grew a little close today. I think I'll have enough of these books to like max them out. Wonderful. Tell me your thoughts. Are you interested? Kurokio is teaching me more things about anthropology. Anthropology. So, from an anthropology view, house does not necessarily mean family. A house is an umbrella term that den denotes both residents and people. Mm. Interesting. It's fun breaking down the entomology of words we use. Ah, yes. Indeed. Speaking of family, what made you choose the life of a detective? Are your parents detectives? No. No, it was my uncle. He's the detective and I just helped him. Hmm. Ah, so that's how it happened. Yeah, my yeah. uncle's a... How about you, Kuryo? What made you become an anthropologist? Uh, There's no particular reason. I mean, we pursued my interest. The rest was sister's influence. Huh? Do you have a sister? Oh. Oh, did I tell you? In any event, 
Listen. I first learned of anthropology while reading a book with sister. They said that tales like that of Princess Kakakuya existed all over the world. I was surprised that people across the globe had such similar ideas. It was then that sister pushed me to research as much as I could. Hmm. So that's how you became an ultimate? I see, yes. Indeed. I am who I am today all because of sister. Sister understood me more than anyone else. She even made this uniform for me. Huh? She did? You see. My outfit was originally much simpler, but she said that didn't suit me. She made it even more beautifully. There is no uniform quite like mine. Kota Kyo looked elated as he told me about it. Maybe a little too excited. You're close to your sister, aren't you? Not like sisters make clothes. Not all sisters make clothes for their brothers. I'm an only child, so I'm not a bit envious. <laughs> Do you have an interest in sisters, Suichi? Huh? That's not what I mean at all. A mere jest. <laughs> I jest. To tell the truth, sister's always been sick, sickly. She made me this uniform between bouts of illness. That's... I'm sorry. But I'm sure that as long as you're working hard, she'll be just fine. What is it? What do you mean by that? Because... Watching your little brother work hard and succeed is the best medicine. I see. I see. So you're saying I should work hard for her? Of course I know that. <laughs> uh, I apologize. I didn't mean to overstep my bounds. No. No, no. Sister, thanks you for worrying about her. You're a good person. Were you a girl, I would have you become one of sister's friends. <laughs> Do all her friends have to be girls? Maybe his sister doesn't like boys going near her. Now that's a complex. Or, you know, it's about Kurokiro's weird fuck-up way of killing people. Full of new knowledge, I turned to my room. God, I'll be... I'm very interested to learn what his, uh, skill is gonna be. Okay. But we won't find that out until the next free time. Oh, shit. I mean, not this free time, but the next free time we have after this one. I need to find out where he's at first. Oh, perfect. He's, like, right here. I love that on the map they actually, like, show where they're at. And he's, like, right here. Sweet. Hello. I cannot keep myself from going into Kurumi's lab. That room is just so splendid. I wish to show it to sister. Your fucked up way of thinking. Listen. You also have interest in the Victorian era? Do you not, Suichi? After all, it is the era of detectives and phantom thieves, though only in fiction. It yes. was just recently there was phantom thieves this year. Ah, but there was also the famous serial killer. Perhaps you're more interested in that. That's right. Oh my god. Spend some time with Kurikyo. Oh my god, what is his name? It's something Jack. I can't remember it. It's something Jack, that's all I know. Oh my god, why can't I think of it? This is incredible. Suichi, where on earth did you find such a thing? Wonderful. I can't believe I'm saying this. So then. I must say, it is enjoyable to teach such an attentive student to you. And I think about it, every time we hang out, it turns into a lecture. I'm having fun, so I don't mind. Ah, yes. Do you recall when we discussed the Princess Kaguya legend? If I remember correctly. Yeah, and how there are similar legends all around the world. Listen. That is but one legend with counterparts in other cultures. Another such legend, one I found quite interesting, is that of Hayuolin. Hayuolin? Um, um, it is the name of a girl who appears in the folklore of Indonesia. 
To summarize, she was a goddess who defeat, defected valuable items. In, in the tale, she was killed and her body became seeds for corpse. Similar tales in Japanese folklore are Osugiri Himi and Ukemuchi. Isn't it fascinating how similar these tales from different lands are? You're right. Yeah, absolutely. You see. Tales with boxes not to be opened. Hero mythology. God disguised as beggars. These are tales with similar elements like these all over the world. Hmm. Interesting. So you know all about legends and myths, Kyo. But of course. Of course. Myths, folklore, legends, they all inform then... anthropology. Are there any in particular that resonate with you? Hmm. Myths that resonate. Hmm. Tell me your thoughts. Have you ever heard of Medusa? If I remember the monster correctly. returns all that look upon her to stone, correct? Yes. <laughs> yes, you may know her as a monster. Hmm. Am I wrong? No. No, you're not wrong. She was originally known as a goddess of nature. Uh, a um, goddess of nature? That's correct. Indeed. But as time went by, she was changed into a fearsome monster to be slain by a hero. Why? What? How did that happen? Let's see. The answer is clear if you consider why nature de desitates or worship. Long ago, humanity was weak and stood no chance against the might of nature. But over time, humanity developed civilization and began taming the land. The protection of a goddess of nature was no longer needed. The goddess became a mo becoming a monster is proof of humanity overcoming nature. Hmm. I see. Tell me your thoughts. But people will continue to tell the story of Medusa. Why is that? To show the power of humanity? Hmm. Show the power of humanity? To say that we've conquered nature? It's true, yes, but there is a bigger reason. Do you understand? Living things turn to stone. This clearly represents death, yes? In other words, all human beings will one day perish. So, even if we overcome nature, we cannot overcome death. Can't exactly tell through the mask, but I imagine Color Kyo was smiling. Why would he make that expression? Does he not fear death? Oh. Oops. Seems I've gone off track. Let us return to discussing myths. Uh, okay. Okay. You are one fucked up dude. Well. Well, it becomes more apparent when you realize that he's the murderer in that case, so. Awesome, we get a three dose of, of free time in this chapter. Back in Kurumi's room, I see. Oh well, we get to max out Kurokyo's. I think this might be the last one before we get dragged off by Gonta, though. But if we get if we get a full six, that'd be awesome. Hmm. All right, Kyo, let's max this out. Do you understand? If you've taken to such an extreme as this. Has brought tragedies the world over. I hope that no such tragedies befall us. Yeah, sure. Let's hang out. Yes. If well, the good news is, this is a good chapter. But if there are six free time events, which would be awesome, that means I can max everyone out here. Except maybe Kukichi and Gonta. I don't think I can hang out with them after. Uh, uh, after the first set of advancements, so it might take a while to max those two out. Alright, let's give you your last book, buddy. Wonderful. I brought this item. Tell I've already that. read this before. It's time for another anthro anthropology lesson. Uh, um... Fieldwork? Yes. Also known as surveying, fieldwork is very important to anthropology. Hearing legends recounted firsthand, recording tools or lifestyles. For this, I've traveled across the nation. Hmm. Across the nation? I imagine that would be quite the life. <laughs> I 
was able to discover fascinating things every day. The latest topic to pique my interest that are customs related to ropes. Huh? Ropes. Therefore. I found that many regions in Japan cus customarily use ropes to welcome guests. Why? I wonder where there are such similar customs in such distant places. Hmm. That is interesting. Well. That said, there are differences in how the ropes are used. In one region, guests tie up women. In another, the guests are tied up. That doesn't seem like much of a warm welcome. <laughs> I was tied up so tightly during my visit that I nearly passed out. <laughs> Quite, the recep Quite the reception. Oh. <laughs> Your understanding is still shallow. That was only the beginning. As I was tied up, they whipped me. It was such a warm welcome. I don't think that was a welcome at all. Beautiful. This experience opened up the door to a new world within me. I felt like the door should remain closed, the BDS, the MD, whatever it's called. After passing through that door, I was able to reunite with someone taken from me by death. That was the greatest welcome I could have possibly received. <laughs> Are you referring to a near death experience? <laughs> Such an experience. Will grow your love for anthropology. I want that for you. What? Uh, um, I don't know about that. I don't even have the basics mastered. Oh. oh, indeed. It is useless without basic knowledge. I'm glad you understand. In any event, I would like to take you along on field work one day. There's still many secrets to discover. There's still many secrets to discover. They are not necessarily secrets. We merely live our lives distance from such knowledge. Listen, Suichi, to tell you the truth. Even if it isn't for field work, I wish to travel the country with you. Oh god. I want to show you the beauty of humanity as I know it. Oh you're right. Okay. I would like to go with you, Kyo. We'd have fun no matter where we went. I am pleased. It makes me so happy, very happy to hear you say that. Your kid's eyes were kindly and just. Thought he was creepy at first, but now there's a real bond between us. If so, perhaps I might consider you my first disciple then. <laughs> I've never imagined having a disciple so soon. Oh God! I just realized we're gonna get his underwear soon. Supernatural ph phenomenon. Okay. Um. Okay. Oh shit! I always forget that I have to pass that. Okay, so it does look like we only get five. Okay, well, you know, that's still fine, too. Um, let's check out Killer Kyo's underwear. Killer Kyo's favorite bikini bomb. The stoic color and sexy form represents the beauty of humanity. Okay, some of them say bikini bombs. The other ones say panties. Well, well. All right, now what's the skill he gave me? Where are you located? Okay, you're right there. While concentrating, the reticle will automatically move over weak points. Oh, wow. Okay, that's actually not that bad. Alrighty, I'll be right back. Alright, we are back. Let us go hang out with... Ah, uh, let's hang out with Kokichi, since his might be a bit of a... Oh, I guess I can't fast travel there. Okay. We're going to hang out with Kokichi. We might as well uh, finish his thing off. The good news is he has four things left to do. Um, I don't know if I can do all the four. If I can do all four of them during this time, that's great. If not, I'll just hang out with uh, Kibo for um, for the other times that I can't hang out with him before I 
reload the whole thing. That way I'm not like really wasting so much time. When he's at the bottom of the casino, because I remember this was the first... I remember when I started Chapter 2, I promised that I would... I would uh, hang out with Kukichi. Oh yeah, I also bought more love uh, keys thing. It's strange that they didn't let me do it, the, do it during the second night, only the first night. Whoa. Yeah, we already read this, so it's fine. For some reason, we ended up running away from Kaito together. And then, actually, probably, once I'm done, I think I'll hang out with, um, I'll hang out with Ryoma, Kurumi, and Tenko next. I'll hang out with those three, uh, but, and then I'll probably hang out with someone else, but I'll probably do that on another chapter. Um... I, I don't know why, but you like this, so... Oh. Wow, this is nice. I've always wanted something like this. It's true! By the way, that's not a lie, okay? Don't worry, I'm actually happy. So? What are you here for today? Did you come to beg for your life? Um... Uh, are you serious about killing me? Yeah. Yep, of course. Since I'm the ultimate supreme leader, duh. I swore on my own title that I would protect my organization. That's why you must die. I can't tell if he's serious. Hey, hey. Well, do it anyway. Get on the ground and beg like a dog. Ooh, I want to see you slit your stomach too. Come on, do it, Wait. pretty please. If I do that, I would die. Yes, I couldn't trick you. Boring. All right. Okay, how about this? If you want to live, you gotta beat me in a game. Huh? A game? Yeah. I didn't give it much chance, but listen, this is your chance to survive. What kind of game? That's... Russian roulette. But with a bullet in every chamber, you go first. Wait! What? I would die for sure. Uh... Well, you never know. The bullet could get jammed. No. Revolvers don't jam. You got me! Uh, I guess you knew that already. This conversation is I'm going not nowhere. playing Russian roulette. How boring. Fine, fine, jeez. I'm being pretty picky before someone who's about to get be killed here. Alright! Then you gotta play a shadow game. It's time to do 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 A duel? Shadow game? Yu-Gi-Oh! Mm -hmm. Yes, the loser's soul will get sent to the Shadow Realm. Yu-Gi-Oh! Right. We each pull out one card from this deck, and whoever has the largest number wins. Where did you get the cards from? You get it? It's my turn. I draw a card. Mm. <laughs> the power of the heart of the cards is strong within me. I drew the number 7. It is neither high nor low. The possibility of you winning drops to 50%. Kukichi is an odd mop. Is it? Uh, whatever. Uh huh, huh. I am my turn. Now it's your turn. Draw your card and unleash your attack. Then. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, a 7. Huh? What? How can this be? You drew the Monster Reborn card? <laughs> <laughs> You truly are an amazing duelist, Suichi. You could probably beat Yami any day. You aim for a tie instead. You intrigue me. I once I did that intentionally. But... But this is the end for you. I let you live only if you had beaten me. You only have three events left in your life, so you better entertain me until then. Wait, that's exactly how many times I get to hang out with you. <laughs> three events? What three events? Oh, I'm just breaking the fourth wall here. No reason. Great. No, seriously, this is awesome. I love hanging out with Kokichi. God damn it. All right. Speaking of Kokichi, you're just outside. Okay, well, I'm not... No need to fast travel, then. I mean, he's just out the door. 
Just gotta open the door, get on the floor. Everybody go kill Koichi. This is very odd because we just... Well, no, never mind. Yeah, it looks so much different at the end of the... At the last portion of the game. Well, you know. It's got all wrong. I only act like a bad guy so you guys don't get too soft, you know. Yeah, might as well. Chuichi. So you understand me? I'm so happy I'm crying. Um, okay. I spent some time with Kukichi even though I knew those tears were fake. They always are. Kukichi and I grew a little closer today. Yeah, sure, why not? I think he also likes these things. Oh. I almost want something like it's this. True. I already said that. Hey, Kukichi, are we going to play more games today? Shuichi. Hey, Suichi, let's have a tea party today. Huh? What? A tea party? Hey, hey. Can we do it? Pretty please. Well, well, we're going to do it, so let's go to the Wait. dining hall. Wait, Kokichi! Do, 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 do. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is the... This is pleasant. I feel like my soul is coming back into my body. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. By the way... My organization requires everyone to have an afternoon break. It increases productivity. Hmm. Uh, sounds like a rather yeah. peaceful organization. Yep, the Supreme Leader... <laughs> me. He's a pacifist, that's why I settle fights with games. By the way, everyone who lost to me should be working hard in S S Siberia right now. Siberia? <laughs> well, if they're even alive. If they're alive? But... Don't worry, Suichi. You'll be in heaven rather than Siberia. No. I would prefer not to be. Mm hmm? Hmm? Well... Okay. Oh, well, you just joined my organization. If you were a member, there'd be no problem. Pretty interesting guy, so I think joining might be good for you. Um, I'm gonna have to decline. No. I'm gonna have to decline. Oh? What? I thought you wanted to live, Suichi. That's true, but... I do, but I would never join some nefarious organization. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's true, but that's sort of disappointing. If someone like you joined, I would never get bored. Um, what? Checking the time, nope. So, I think I'm gonna head out. By the way, are you sure it was okay to waste this event without playing a game? Huh? Huh? Because... Now there's only... Now there's one less chance for you to survive, you know. I already told you that you only have three events left, but you seem pretty relaxed. Wait! Well, wait a minute, you're the one who said we should drink tea today. Uh... So you're blaming me? Yeah, sure, whatever. Huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> right there, Suichi. That's the face I wanted to see. As the supreme leader of evil, I crush people's hopes and dreams. All right. Now, since I took my snack break, I should be able to work hard today. Me hee hee hee. Oh, god damn it. Great. Sure, whatever. God damn it. I shook off Kokichi's cheeky laughter and I returned to my room. Good deal, yo! Alright, we're time to use the key again. Who's it gonna be this time? It's... Oh, we already saw Muse! This is bullshit! I think if that ever happens again, I, sh I, I think what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna save. I'm gonna save. I wanna see if I can hang out with Kokichi. Um, if that happens again, or what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna save before those events, so then I don't waste the keys. 
But oh well, wasted one of them. Can I hang out with Kokichi or will he not let me hang out with him? Oh? Man, what are you doing here, Suichi? Oh, are you switching to my side? You want to see the Moto videos too, right? Yeah, sure, might as well. You want to hang out with me? But I'm having a strategy meeting with Gonta right now. Um. Oh, then Gonta can have strategy meeting later. Oh, really? Okay, I'll hang out with Suichi then. Okay, now the moment of truth if I'll be able to hang out with him next event. I know I probably won't be able to hang out with him tomorrow, but I should be able to hang out with him today. Kukichi and I grew a little closer today. Alright, at least I hope it'll advance. Advance. Hey, Suichi, let's have a proper battle today. So how about we play a game called The Burning Apology? Huh? The Burning Apology? Yeah. Yep, beg me not to kill you while kneeling on a burning hot metal plate. If you really want to live, then I know you can do it. Wait! I don't... I can't do that. I would die. Huh? So you figured it out. Huh? Of course I figured that out. Um, and how about the steel beam walk? Uh, um... Steel beam walk? You walk across a thin steel beam and make it to the end without falling, then you win. Ah, uh, that sounds alright. Um, By the way, the beam is, is placed between two buildings. There's also electricity involved. Um, and of course, you plan on crossing it as well. Yeah. Of course I'm gonna cross it. I'm pretty confident when it comes to balance. I mean... It's a lie. But that's a lie, so no, I won't go. Putting a lot of effort to messing with me. Is there something else we can do? I want to. I want a game of life or death. Right? Kukichi, these challenges. The idea is that if I win, I don't die. Correct? Yeah. Yepers and. Why? Then why are we both risking our lives? Why? Who cares? We're gonna die anyway someday. This just changes the timing a little. <laughs> I'm the supreme leader of evil. I'm used to risking my life. Hmm. You don't do any steel beam walking? <laughs> uh -huh, of course. What I said was a lie. I'm used to it at this point. Ah. So then, how about we just do a simple game of rock, paper, scissors? Huh? Rock, paper, scissors? Isn't that old luck? <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's fun, sweetie. Good luck on surviving. All right. Okay, here I go. Rock, paper, scissors. We both put out the same thing. Mm. I see. Again. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors. Same again? <laughs> <laughs> How long will you prolong your life, Suichi? Rock, paper, scissors. <sighs> All right. Rock, paper, scissors. Same again. Hmm. Ugh, I'm bored now. This is the bajillionth time we tried. Sweetie, please just finish it up. No. That's... There's nothing really I can... Anything I can do. Yeah. Fine, then we've done it for today. Congrats, Sweetie. You're still alive. Oh, yeah. By the way... <laughs> did you know there's a, a way to throw the same thing on purpose in rock, paper, scissors? Huh? Huh? Me <laughs> What was that Kukichi was doing just now? So that he wouldn't win? But what would be the point of that? Because you only have two events left. I hate lies and jokes. I'm lying. You just have good luck, Suichi. You got the same thing a hundred times. That's not just luck. <laughs> Maybe it is Detective's intuition is getting more precise. Well, you are the ultimate detective. Well, you know. Still, the next time we meet will be your last. Enjoy the little time you have left, Suichi. 
Oh boy! Mm -hmm. Return to my room, mind and body exhausted. Yep. So it will be all over after one more event. Somehow I doubt it. Hmm. Alrighty, let us do one more event with Kukichi if we can. If not, then we're hanging out with Kibo. If we can find him. Okay, they're in C. Maybe if I hang out with Kokichi, he can't do his meeting with Gonta and we don't have to do insect meet and greet. Wait, what's insect meet and greet? I don't know. The point is, this is the last one, Kokichi Suichi. Don't you think it's strange we're keeping each other's mother's videos? I can't stand this co cooperation. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Huh, with me? I don't mind. But what about Gonta? Mm. If that's what Suichi want to do, then Gonta step aside like gentlemen. Oh, no. Okay, let's take Gonta's offer then. Oh, Gonta's such a big, giant, sweet teddy bear. <laughs> So unfair! Alrighty, let's give you your last monkey paw. Your last monkey paw. Oh, maybe Gonta might like the water bottles, who knows. I feel like Gonta might like anything I give him. Then again, I feel like uh, Ki Kyo was like that too, so... Chuichi. I'm glad you came, Suichi. Remember, today's your last chance, okay? I see Kokichi's just as chipper as usual. I don't know when he's being serious and when he's toying with me. Which is it? All right. Now it's time for the final game. It's this. Ta-da! Whoa, a knife? What are you? <laughs> <laughs> don't get so antsy. Don't worry, it's only for the game. You know what the knife game is, right? Uh, um, the knife game? See? Place your palm on the table with fingers apart and the knife. The knife, stab between your fingers. Wait! What? That's so dangerous! How exciting! This will be today's challenge. This is a fitting for the final game, isn't it? No. But this is really dangerous. What if we get hurt? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about, Suichi, if you lose? You'll be beyond just injured, you know. You'll die. Kukichi's demeanor has changed. He seems far more serious now. So that means... I'll make the first move, okay? Kukichi spread his fingers on the table, then lifted the knife. I've never seen Kukichi so serious before. Is this what the Ultimate Supreme Leader looks like? All right. I'm ready. Tap 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 So fast. If you can do that. Ouch. Ah, Kukichi. Blood oozed from Kukichi's hand. I spun into action and grabbed his wrist. Ouch. Wait. You don't have to keep going. Stop. Just stay still. I'll get it. Gonta, get over here. I found a nearby first aid kit and clumsily tended to Kokichi's cut. Ouch! And all the while, Kokichi was... laughing. Laughing. Laughing as if he... if he were having the time of his life. Okay, I think that's good. What do you think? Thanks. Yeah, it wasn't a deep cut, so that'll do. Thanks for treating my injury, Suichi. But, you got me. oh man, I lost. Congrats, Suichi. You win. Uh, um, I didn't do it yet. I'm still the winner? Maybe. Well, I messed up. So yeah, you win by default. Plus, I already fulfilled my objective. Huh? Objective? To kill you, Suichi. That's 
But I'm alive. But I made your heart die with worry, didn't I? Huh? What? Hey! After I said I'd kill you, I was on your mind the whole time, right? You thought about whether or not I was serious, or why I would do say something confusing. Ha! Even now, you're concerned about me from the bottom of your heart. <laughs> now you'll never, ever forget me for the rest of your life. Well... I stole your heart, so now I'm satisfied. I don't need to steal your life anymore. I'm like a phantom thief. Why? <laughs> what does that even mean? Why did you say that? It's a lie. Because that was a lie. I never wanted your life to begin with. And like I told you from the very beginning, I'm a liar. Uh, I have nothing to say. Play with me would be putting it lightly. I don't think there will ever come a day when I truly understand Kokichi. I reached out to him. But he doesn't take my hand. In his own ways, I think that helps me understand him a little. For whatever fucking reason! Alrighty. Kind lie. Kokichi and I part ways and I return to my room. Alright Kokichi, give me those underwear! Oh goody. I'm interested to see what uh, Kibo's underwear is gonna be. S to put it lightly. By the way, I wanna see what the kind of lie is. It is known. There we go. First of all, his underpants. Kokichi's favorite t trendy underwear. Being a tease where it can't seem it was true fashion all on. Okay. Influence drains slowly while a lie below is load. Effective or not, stop at the base. That's not a bad one. Alright, see you when we go to cook Kibo. Alright, time for our one free time for today, and we're going to spend it with good old Kibo. As soon as we find him. Ah, oh, good, you're right here, by Maki's lab. By Maki's ultimate child caregiver lab. Hmm. A magic show. It seems unconnected but to the killing game, so I do not foresee any issues with it. Boy howdy, was I naive. Hmm. Perhaps I am overthinking. But we cannot let our guard down. Not after what Monokuma has already put us through. What was the- oh yeah, the Monocub pad. I was like, what was the motive for this chapter again? I was like, oh right. The thing I completely forgot. Alrighty, um... At least I- I feel like he'd like this. Would he like this? Thank you very much. This is quite a practical gift. Thank you. Listen closely. Please don't get the wrong impression. I'm happy because this gift is so practical. Under different circumstances, this gift could be considered an act of robophobia. Shuichi! So you've come to talk to me again. You must be very fascinated by me, Suichi. That is understandable. In all the world, there is no other robot as impressive as I am. Why does he talk? Why does he have to talk like that? Although, I suppose it is true that his technology is pretty amazing, very human-like. Um, hey Kibo, you said your father's Professor Itabashi, right? Do you know why he made you? That's... The professor told me that I am the sum total of his research. The entirety of his knowledge, technology, and ex expertise in the field of robotic engineering... Listen closely. ...all applied to create ro a robot more human than any that have come before. That is what I am. I'm human more than human. He said I am the culmination of his life's work, but I was not truly born until an incident occurred that the professor did not predict. Huh? An incident? I... My strong AI was programmed such that my mental age would reflect my appearance. But unlike now, my AI was only capable of displaying a very narrow spectrum of human emotion. 
In response, the professor treated me the way a father would treat his son. But things did not improve. Well... One day, a few years later, an accident occurred during a routine experiment. My programming went rogue, and I ended up seriously injuring the professor. Oh god, is that what happens when I lose my hoge? What? Oh. Fortunately, the professor survived his injuries. But I died that day. Huh? Died? I... When I heard the professor, I was overcome by the emotion response known as sadness. The first law of robotics states, A robot must not harm a human being. Though I wasn't punished for violating that rule, I nevertheless felt sadness. I blamed myself for hurting my father. In doing so, I was overcome with guilt. This is... Well, it feels like they have human emotions. I... At that moment, my AI suddenly reset, and I became not unlike a newborn infant. I see. So that's what he meant by means by died. That's perhaps I simply wanted to be reborn as the professor's son again. That's what the professor concluded, and he raised me as his own child again. By the way, to tell you the truth, my memories were deleted when my AI reset. So I learned all this secondhand from the professor himself. I had no idea he had sus he had experienced something so incredible. What's the matter? Suichi, is something wrong? No. Oh, well, how do I put this? I was just thinking, you really are the ultimate robot. To Professor Itabashi, Kibo is more than just a robot. And I'm sure that for Kibo, the professor is... Hey! What do, does that mean? Do you hold me in contempt now because I am a robot? How rude! Please cons reconsider your attitude toward me in the future. <laughs> yeah, got it, Kibo. Yay! More friendship charms, thingies, whatever they're called. Fragments. You know, I'm glad that they actually like this in Danganronpa 1 and 2. Or, in this game and Danganronpa 2. Because, um, like, in Danganronpa 1, you'd have no idea how many times you had to hang out with someone to max them out. Like, some person could be two, uh, three times, another person could be six or something like that. It's really bullshit. Anyway, I'll see you guys back when we, um, uh, to do more Kibo stuff. Alright, I am back. So let us go find Kibo, who is way in the kitchen. Okay, cool. Okay, I think I know for sure I'm going to start hanging out with Tanko after um, Kibo. Unless I can't hang out with Kibo, then I'll maybe pick Miyu or... Uh, uh, not Miyu, uh, Kirumi or... Um... Suichi, if you have free time, would you like to spend it with me? Um, What's her name? His name? Ryoma. Ryoma. There's something I want to ask you. Should I hang out with Kibo for a while? Yeah, sure, why not? Thank you very much. Thank you. Actually, I was hoping you could describe what it is like to be a teenager. I require many samples so that I could be better understand the human teenage experience. I spent some teenager time with Kibo. It was awkward when we talked about masturbation. Yeah, sure. Um... I can give him this. How many of those... Oil can things do I have? One. Shit. How many more? Let's see. I think I need to hang out with him three more times. What else would he like? What is this? Uh, he might like that, but I don't want to give that to him. It's my only thing I have. I don't know if he'd like this. That might be way too sci-fi for him, and he doesn't like sci-fi, so let's just give him this magazine again. Thank you very much. Listen close. Suichi. Suichi, may I ask you for advice concerning a particular matter? Uh, um... Advice? Are you sure you want to ask me? Yes. Yes, in fact, you're the only one I can talk to about this mat- to about this matter. 
the only one? Um, the question has been on my mind for a while now. Do you think I'm merely ordinary, despite being the ultimate robot? Well... No, you don't need to answer. Compared to everyone else, I feel rather ordinary. Then why ask? If I must. So I've been thinking that I need to address this somehow by taking action. Suichi, I intend to launch a robot business. A robot business? Indeed. Yes, I'm going to launch a business that takes full advantage of my robot capabilities. That's why I'm going to become work to become a pop star robot. Uh, um... A pop star? Why is that? Listen closely. I arrived at this decision after analyzing many options. The main reason is that robots have yet to advance in the pop music genre. I don't think they're advancing any music genres. For now. On the subject of pop stars. Singing is what they're mostly known for, right? Um... It's the dancing? That's... It's the dancing. <laughs> dancing, huh? Hmm. Oh, are you bad at dancing? You can do the robot! I wouldn't say I'm bad at dancing. It's just, for some reason, my dancing always seems to turn into the robot dance. Hmm. I see. Perhaps being an idol is not for you. Listen closely. That's why seeing is how I'll stand out among the crowd. Even well, if I got a shout out loud, I'm going to sing for you right now. Okay. But please do what you think. All right, sure. I'd soon regret those words. I'm gonna. Uh... Stand out! Kiva's expression while seen was so peaceful, so joyous. Uh. Ah, ah, ah. But my brain was being fried. I felt like my insides were scrambling. Stand out! I can't block it out. I'm gonna throw up. Uh. Stand out! Among the crowd. Several months later, I opened my eyes, still hunched over. Even if I got a shout out loud, to mine is the only face you'll How about see. This? What do you think, Suichi? It was pretty good, huh? Stand Sorry. out. Sorry, Kivo. I don't think I can follow your music career. Huh? Huh? What do you mean? No. Kivo, your scene was terrible. I couldn't take it. Oh. Really? What? Was it really that bad? Hmm. Yes, I, uh. Don't think you should sing for people anymore. But how? Oh no, does that mean I can't become a pop star? Ah, oh. uh, wait, Kibo, that's it. You can play music, right? Why don't you do that? You just pretend to sing and play that song through your mouth. I can't. I can't do that. Ugh. What? I'm disappointed in you. Does an illogical comp. Com compromise, Suichi. Please understand, my AI is a reflection of the human desire for greater understanding. So I must experience the hardship of training. The easy path will only hinder my progress. Even if one possesses an ultimate level talent, that talent should not be a crutch, but a stepping stone to reach even high greater heights. Yes, stepping stones like me, Kameda! Kibo's report has been updated. Oh boy. <laughs> Okay. Keeble gave me a dressing down and I returned to my room. Why did he... I never thought the day would come when a robot would preach to a human. Why was he dressing me down? I kind of think of it. We didn't come to the conclusion about his robot business. Oh well, we'll talk about it later. We still have two more events with him. And don't worry, I'm going to save right after the second one so then I don't fuck Why? up the whole... The whole, um, meeting thing. Oh good, Kibo's in his room. You know, I find it weird that we never go into anyone else's room. They always come out. Unlike in Danganronpa 1 and, well... No, they came out in Danganronpa 1, but at the end of every thing, they always brought us to our rooms. Hmm. Um, the fuck? Yes. 
Where'd my text box go? What the hell? You know, I spent some time exploring the grounds. You know, I, okay. Yeah, sure, I'll definitely give him something. Uh, what? Do I have anything else that he might like? What else would he like? Would he like this? I don't know, that seems like a... Oh, he might like this. Maybe? What is it? Very well then. Shuichi. Okay, so it's not it's not his favorite thing, but he did enjoy it. Oh well, I definitely need to think of some. Suichi, you have given me thoughts of our previous discussion? Have you given more thought? Our previous discussion? Oh, I remember when I suggested he fake the scening. Sorry. Yes, I have, Kibo. I apologize for saying what I did. Yeah. I accept your apology. After all, humans and robots alike seek greater understanding. Well then. As for my robot business, if I can't be a pop star, I'll have to think of something else. But I can't seem to think of anything. Do you have any ideas? Something else Kibo could get into. I really upset him last time. I should think about this hard. Uh, probably don't want to say Robo made. High risk work. How about stunt work? Then. What about stunt work? Like a stunt man. Hmm. Stunt work? Okay. Yeah, because you're a robot, you can stand in for a lot of things. But. That may be, but I'm not exactly the most physical, sturdy robot, so. <laughs> uh, that's right. Hmm. Alright then, uh. Perhaps a caregiver robot? With life expectancy raising? I'm sure that's a demand. Hmm, a caregiver robot? I hadn't considered that. Well then. Alright, I will begin practicing at once. I'm counting on you to help me, Suichi. No. Please! What? How could I help? I would like you to roleplay as someone in my care. Okay. Uh, I see. Alright, sure. Well then. First, I will attempt to assist you in getting ready for bed. Uh, um... Right for bed, alright. Can you help me change into pajamas? Impossible! Ch changing clothes? I can't do that. It's too embarrassing. No. It's care work, Kibo. You don't have to be embarrassed. Don't! What's embarrassing is embarrassing, and that's that. No clothes changing. Hmm. Alright, alright. Well then. I suppose I'll try picking you up and placing you on the bed. Okay. There's no bed here, so I suppose we'll just have to make do. Got in the field position so that Kibo could carry me more easily. This is kinda of embarrassing. This could easily lead to a misunderstanding. Alright! Okay, here I go. Kibo announced with determination and began to lift me up. Crack. <sighs> He's not picking me up. Hmm. Kibo, what's wrong? <laughs> Ouch. M my back. My back. Huh? Your back? I thought you were a robot. How rude. You're too heavy. Really? <laughs> Ouch. It hurts to move my back. I guess that makes caregiving out of the question. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> hey, level up! Ironically, I end up carrying Kibo on my back and taking him to his room. How ironic. Alright. Oh god. <laughs> oh boy. It took a while for it to become someone different. First it was Ko Koyo, and then it was Maki. Shared fancy. 
These fans, you can only imagine how insane this will be. Oh, man. Oh, man, it's been a while since I landed in trouble like this. Huh? Trouble? <laughs> Trapping me in a place like this? That's very like you, Mr. Detective. So I'm still a detective in this fantasy. Am I supposed to be chasing him? But... But I won't let you... But I won't tell you where I hid the stolen gem. Torture won't work either, Wait. you know. I'm not going to torture you. What exactly do you think a detective does? Uh... You're planning on trying to roughen me up. Up my body, aren't you? That's why you're... That's why hey. there's a bed, huh? No, you've got it all wrong. Why? Yeah, but isn't that what happens to a phantom thief when they're caught? Huh? A phantom thief? <laughs> but you know, if you're into crazy kinks, even I won't be able to keep up. That's not true. I said you've got it wrong. No, wait. Man, we shouldn't be arguing. I think Kikichi's fantasy. I should calm down and play along. Alright, so Kikichi's a fan thief, is he? Hey! I'm not going to do anything to you. From here on, you're the cop's problem. If you're trying to rile me up to give yourself a chance to escape, no dice, Kokichi. Did I get caught? Oh, figure it out already. Jeez, I was willing to let you do whatever you wanted to me since I love you, Suichi. Wow! Oh, wow, you've even researched my name! My identity is bare and naked for your eyes only. But. Kokichi, did you. Just call me Suichi? Yeah. Yeah, well, looking up your name was a piece of cake. Uh, so, I'm no, so I'm not a different person here. It's me and Kukichi. I me and Kukichi's Kukichi. I know I'm supposed to be his ideal, but even when he tells me he loves me, I can't help but think he means the opposite. <laughs> if you're gonna do anything, then maybe I will. If you're not gonna do anything. For my mind, I had a chance to process it. Kokichi's grin was upon me. Ugh. Ah, hey! I stepped back reflectively. I had no idea what he was capable of. Hey! You don't need to be scared. What did you think I was going to do to you? Because. I'm simply being cautious. We aren't exactly friends, Kokichi. Are we? This whole situation is too strange for me to get my bearings. I mean, this kind of conversation only makes it hard to know why I'm here. Jeez, don't be so cold to me. You've been chasing me after. You've been chasing after me this whole time for a long time. The stealing part doesn't excite me as much as being pursued by you. You know. Oh, man. Don't you feel the same, Suichi? You weren't bored playing with me, were you? That's. Oh, well, I wouldn't say. <laughs> well, I don't care what you think anyway. Hmm. Because you just do as you please, don't you, Kokichi? Ah. Are you mad because I toyed with you? Don't worry, I'm always thinking about you. You're always trying your best to catch me. I really have to give it, give it my all to win. But... You seem to be rather enjoying this for a cornered criminal. Yeah. Jeez, the game's not over yet. Shuichi. Hey, Suichi. What would you do if I told you that I wanted you to catch me? Huh? Huh? It's true! There's a tr transmitter on my body, so my friends probably have the place surrounded already. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you'll be the one getting all tied and roughed up, Suichi. Huh? That's not... possible, right? It couldn't be. I was taken off guard by Kokichi's words, but then I remembered our roles. Wait! Kokichi, your lies don't work on me. Aww, uh, you're, you're not, not shaking up at all. all. I thought I thought you would be more oh. excited. Never mind. That's too bad. I really wanted your eyes to be on me. <laughs> oh God. I thought you didn't care about how I felt. These are gonna be weird with Kaede. I just know it. A lie. You know, since I'm a liar. Ultimate liar and all that. But when I said I wanted you to catch me, that was definitely not a lie. What do you mean? It means. You can do whatever you want to me. And that's the truth. Oh, God. <laughs> Come, play with me. Let's do a lot more together. Oh, God. Kokichi moved towards me. For every step he took, I took one back. But my feet hit the bed. Oh, Kokichi. God. 
But Kokichi wasn't listening at all. He pushed me hard onto the bed. Oh my god! Kokichi, wait, wait! Just kidding. Did I get ya? Fuck you, what? dude. Kokichi didn't answer as he sprinted towards the exit. Kokichi, stop right there! I tried to give chase, but my knees were weak as I trembled off the bed. <laughs> We were moral enemies in this fantasy, but still, Kokichi couldn't be leaving. I got myself wishing he would stay before I smothered the thought. <laughs> that was pretty fun. See ya, Shuichi. I'll think of a more exciting game for next time. So make sure you excite me too. Oh my god. Kokichi turned his back to me with a flourish, then placed his hand on the door. Well, it wasn't the worst thing that's happened. Oh, God. <laughs> Alrighty, time to do the last event with Kibo. And then we'll start off with Tenko in the next chapter. So, looks like he... Is he at the pool? He might be at the pool. Or he might be very close to it. Oh, I forgot what the rum button was. Everyone! Everyone seems to really enjoy that delicious looking tripe hot pot. It's fine. You do not need to worry about me. Uh, yeah, sure, let's hang out. Yeah. Really, I'm fine. Even if I can't eat, spending time together during meals will strengthen our relationship. I have no idea what I'm going to give him. Maybe I should probably... I spent some time with Kibo, who tried not to let his emotions show too much. Alrighty. Definitely. Um, could give him the magazine, or... Could, let's give him the oil. Thank you very... Are you okay? Kibo, is your back okay? Yeah. Yes, it feels better after I've rested. So he just had to has to rest? He doesn't have to get repairs done? Well then. Suichi, about my robot business plan. I've realized that there's an issue that must be addressed before I can implement it. I've been told so on more than one occasion that my backstory is somewhat lacking. Your backstory? If my backstory is more interesting, maybe I could be more than just an ordinary robot. I'm not sure about that. Listen closely. For example, if my family were killed by a monster, leaving me critically injured. Or if I sought revenge against someone, you know, like a tragic hero. This way I'd gain more exposure to the emotions of sadness and vengeance. I suppose so. That does sound pretty cool. I need weapons, which I'd have to get from the professor along with my new backstory. I'm not that fond of robotic weaponry, but I suppose it's unavoidable. I mean, did you see me blow up the school at the end of chapter 5? Are you sure? I know you don't like weapons. Isn't that something you really want to avoid? Uh... But if I stay the way I am... Hey! I've said this before, but you really are the ultimate robot, Kibo. You shouldn't think of yourself as merely ordinary. Suichi, your words make me extremely happy. However, I still don't fully comprehend what it means to feel that emotion. And though I detected that this cause, this causes me to feel sad, I cannot comprehend that either. Huh? Sad? Yeah. Within me, I have a strong desire to feel like everyone else. To be able to say with pride that I'm friends with you and everyone else here. Hmm. Kibo. Could that be why he's so concerned? He wants everyone to accept him? Is that alright? Kibo, you don't have to think up a new backstory. Let's just keep thinking about the robot business together. Huh? Really? But you said... That I really am the ultimate robot. Okay. Yes, that's true, but if you keep getting more business experience... 
I think it will help you learn new emotions as well. That's why I want to help you, Kibo, as your friend. <laughs> Suichi! Thank you very much. Thank you so much. I am truly grateful. To think I'd feel such gratitude towards you was serendipitous miscalculation. <laughs> Hardly, Kibo. You were the one who told me that only I could help you. That's... Oh, that was a logical decision on my part, because it's dangerous to expose your weakness to an equal, but not to someone who is beneath you. So that's why he was always talking down to me. You bastard! But, but our relationship is different now. I feel that you and I are equals. No, I decide that we are equals due to our special relationship. This is... Ah, uh, yes. This is probably intuition. Intuition? Yes. Based on our interactions thus far, I believe I felt something inside you. This judgment is not ro rooted in logic, but rather something akin to human intuition. That intuition is telling me that I can build a friendship with you, Shuichi. A friendship, huh? Yes, I suppose that isn't is equal but special relationship. Shuichi! Please look out for me, Suichi. Okay. And you for me, Kibo. We shook hands. One healing, one robot, one family! That's not what's important. There's a real connection here. Trust your heart. Let faith decide. The true bond between me and Kibo. Alright, Kibo, what's your ability called? What's your bullshit? Digital love. I'm gonna win digital. Like completely digital. We spent the rest of the day discussing robot business possibilities. Oh yeah. Um, built-in parts. Okay, I assume that's his underwear. I mean, I assume that's his underwear. Oh boy. Oh god. Oh Jesus, Rick. Alright, I still have free time, but... Let's check his shit out. Parts built in to Kibo's waist. They protect the delicate parts of his body from temp temperature and humidity. They need to be changed daily, but can be resumed after being washed. Reused after being washed. God damn. Alrighty, what's the ability that you gave me, Kibo? The radical will lock onto nearby V points while concentrating. Oh my god, that is super good. Oh, digital love is amazing. I'm definitely going to equip that. I'll actually equip that right the fuck now. If I can find it. Oh shit, I might not have enough space to do it. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, no shit, I don't have enough to do it. God damn. 32? Fuck, dudes. I'm never going to be able to equip that unless I disequipped everything else that I have. Uh, what should I buy? Maybe I should buy some things. High tension. Tension gauge will increase the FS rate. Nah, that's not really something I need. Oh, I already have Zambato. I already have Twin Six, right? I'm yeah, I'm assuming the ones that don't have the... Yeah, the buy. First strike, the keyword of the first speaker's argument. That's not so bad, but I can't... Instantly silences a lot of voices. That's not bad either. Uh, everything... Well, it's not like... Well, I can... Mm. What's lost in thought do slightly increases the time limit in each phase, effective during all parts of the class trial. That's not so bad. Increasing the amount of influence recovered. Oh, this would be pretty good. Uh, this would be pretty good, so I should definitely buy this one. I'll buy it at least, but I can't equip it since it costs eight to put on. But oh well. Um. Uh, sure. First strike's not that bad either. I'll buy that. Okay, guys. Well. I think I'm going to end the part off here, guys, because let's see here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six more people we need to do. 
Um, I don't know if I'll do three in the next video and then three in the last video. I don't know. I'll have to decide that quickly. I'm definitely probably going to start off with Tenko and then work on Kirumi and Ryoma. And then maybe Kaito... Oh, wait. Hold on. Wait. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so no, I have seven left. I don't know. I'll definitely find out who I'm going to do next. But, of course, I got to do Kirumi and... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll do I'll do either Kirumi or Ryoma uh, next. But, anyway, I got in the part up here, guys. So, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you liked the video, please give that like button a click. Comment down below what you like about the video, what you didn't like about the video. And let me know, which of the events have we done today? Um, you know, the full events. Uh, uh, Kukichi, Kiyo, Kibos, or Angie's. Actually... Let me know, out of those four, which of their skills did you like the best? I'm... It's very expensive, but I really did love... I do love, uh, Kibos. And, and Kyo's not that bad either. Same with... Actually, they're all pretty good. But, yeah. Kibos is probably the best, but it costs so much. God damn. So, yeah. And, as always, guys, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the feet. And subscribe to our main channel, too. That's in the description below. So, also follow me on Twitter. Both my main Twitter, RG Kingdom Kid Twitter, are in there, too. I want to thank you all so much for watching once again. I'll see you all next time.